All right, welcome to my channel. My name is Phil Dangerman and I grow a lot of hot peppers. I make a few tasting videos. I'm mostly present on Instagram at the moment, but um, I thought I'd do a couple of yeah taste tests on YouTube and see how that goes for fun, mostly for the pepper lovers community um, with whom we have we nerd out on, on chili pepper growing and tasting and all that. So um, actually I'm just gonna pour myself a little German juice here. Um, today I've got a couple of interesting things happening, that's why I wanted to, to do a video about it. I've got a knife that arrived from Trollheimer, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, from Norway. Um, that's here. I thought I'd try one of these Afi Confusion on camera. They're really delicious. I've tried them before, but I wanted to describe. And I will try this um, Rocotto, the capsicum pubescence. Uh, Rocotto Marlene it's called. So this is um, supposed to be a really good one. And we've got finally from Pepper Ranger, thank you so much, the um, tincture. And that should probably be fun mostly for people watching, not so much for me, because it will be very, very spicy. So let's start with the, um, the new knife. I've been waiting for a few weeks on this. I don't know what happened in the post, but um, it took them ages to send it. So let's have a look. I, haven't opened it yet. I thought I might as well do it with the video, with the tasting. I'm really excited. Um, I found his name on the Chili Kill Chili Chill channel. Anyway, I'll put it in the in the comments. I think I'm <laughs> the pronunciation. Apologies. It's a really good channel. And um, so I wanted to have a pepper knife to, you know, to have a proper knife. Uh, to cut the peppers when I do videos or whatever because they deserve, you know, they deserve uh, the respect of a proper good knife. Okay, so there's a little note. Don't cut yourself. That's a very good point. When you pull it out, don't cut yourself. Oh my god, look at this. So it has um, a little, I think it's leather, yeah, or pleather sheath. And I'm going to have to be very careful when I get it out, as you said. But I don't think I can cut myself if I do it like this. Oh my god. This is, this is so, so nice. Um, so I asked him to put the Danger Man name on here as well. I on it. It's a Damascus steel blade. Um, and damn. This is this is somewhat. Thank you so much, Trollheimer. Uh, this is um, this is even better than I than I expected. He's got a little logo on it as well. Again, I'm not sure if this comes through, but I'll link his Instagram in the comments. And yeah, damn, it's cool. Okay, but I should stop talking about how cool my knife is. It is very cool, and start looking at some peppers. The first one we're gonna try is from this. It's a bunchy, so bonsai chili. Fatali.net has written a lot about how to make bunchies and it's a great, great resource. Great resource for seeds, of course, as well. These are um, capsicum bacatum and um, they, not, they're not very spicy, but they have a really cool shape. I wrote down a couple of other ones that have a similar sh bell shape. You know, you have the, what is it, the Mad Hatter, Brazilian Starfish, Bishop's Crown, Christmas. There is the Nepalese bell. And yeah, there's lots of, lots of peppers that have this shape. So, what I did just try it on camera um, just a second ago, but that failed. I'm going to try it again. Let's see if it works this time. And this cuts like butter. Amazing. What a pleasure to cut with. So um, I'm going to save these seeds, put them aside. There's always that annual um, seed swap in, in October. I encourage anyone who hasn't tried to participate. You send off your seeds and you receive from other people packages of different types of peppers, the seeds as well. Let's try this one. I would describe it as juicy, sweet, kind of like fruity. There is some spice to it. This one actually more than the one I just tasted a second ago. But it's not an overpowering spice. It's like a fruity, juicy kind of spicy, you know, it kind of explodes in your mouth. It's really nice. It's a good like snack pepper, I'd say. And it's um 
Yeah, nothing crazy. So it's very similar to the Ahi Fantasy. The I mean the pods look they look really fun, they look crazy. Um, and the Ahi Fantasy is a bit more long usually, and the Ahi Confusion, this one, has a the, another Fenno, I guess, that looks much longer and like elongated. And they're also called Ahi Confusion. So there's a lot of confusion about these peppers, which is a bit silly, but um, but that's how it is. Um, yeah, high yield, I'd say. You get really, I mean, this is a tiny bunch here, right? In a Tupperware. And look at all the pods. I mean, this is a great plant. I cut some, when I gave this, this plant a haircut, I, um, I took the cuttings and put them in water um, with some root hormone. I made a test with and without, and it was clearly much better with the root hormone gel. Um, the roots came much faster. And then I put them in cocoa and uh, have them outside at the moment. And even though the cocoa pod is this small, there's again, like here, so many pods on there, uh, pods. So really cool plant, I really recommend growing it. But start early, they do take a while to, to ripen. Um, yeah, nothing more I think on that one. It's about apparently max 50K um, SHU, so nothing too strong. So now the Rokoto Marlene, or Marlene, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, how you're supposed to pronounce it. Um, it's a capsicum pubescence um, and they're really interesting that they're really quite um, the furthest away from the commercial chili pepper families. Um, it's a plant that is that can resist the cold a bit better. It's a plant that is hairy, like pubescence um, means hairy, and you see the trichomes on the plant, on the leaves everywhere. The plants are beautiful, honestly. The flowers are also really nice and uh, purple. Um, there's a, let's see if I can show a picture of it here. And um, yeah, what else to say? There's lots of rocotos, of course. Um, rocoto, I think, means stone, and you have different kind of similar words for rocoto in different countries in South America. And they're called manzano, I think, as well in Mexico, because they look like an apple, like a stone, like an apple. I personally think they look like a tomato. And, and um, yeah, what else to say? I'm growing, uh, I'm growing a few other ricottas I'm very excited about. I've got the one um, called Turbo Pube, which has a fantastic name, I think. I'm growing the uh, brown ricotta as well. Chris Fowler actually made a few new um, types of ricottas, I think. He's got the mini, um, mini olive which is a beautiful one. I'm growing it, but I haven't got the plants right here at the moment. Um, and yeah, they have, um, as the only um, type of pepper, um, the pubescents actually have blackish, black brownish seeds, and they're usually very thick walled. This is the first time I try one, so I'm very excited. Um, let's see, so you can't cross this one with the other pepper, and you can really cross most of the main ones, you can intercross in most, but not all directions but nothing works with the pubescents really. There are some wild ones I think you can. I believe the Eximium, like the CGN19198, um, but like you couldn't cross this with the Chinens or, uh, or Bacatum or whatever. So let's see. Um, I think I showed it to you up close, right? That's what it looks like. Um, and let's see what it looks like from the inside. Wow. I mean, if this doesn't look like a tomato, I don't know what does. Let's see. Is that focusing? Let's hope so. Dup, dup, dup. Um, thick walled, as, as I was told. And um, yeah, it looks juicy. Let's try. Wow. This is so different. I mean, I've tried Bacatum, I've tried Chinens, I've tried Anna, Anuums, of course, but this is softer, the flesh is softer, um, it's really fruity, it's sweet but in a different way. I think it's a bit sour as well. There's not much heat at all for this one um, that I go here but it's the first part of a plant, so let's see how the other ones develop. The seeds are indeed brown. I'm not sure if it's as mature as it should be, but um, we'll find out if I try with the seeds again and with the rest of the, of the peppers on that plant. I'm gonna try a piece with a bit more um, the placenta because that's obviously where the heat is, if there is any. Yeah, sour. 
a bit sweet. And honestly, it tastes a bit like a tomato to me. I mean, it's not, I'm not sure if it's just in my head, but it's softer, you know. It, re it really reminds you of a tomato when you have the, the texture in your mouth. Um, great flavor, really interesting. I definitely recommend these. They are more common, I think, in Bolivia, in Peru, and Ecuador. I wrote down and yeah, what else? Oh yeah, in Marlene, this one is um, this particular type of ricotta is um, was developed by the um, Asinias La Palma. They're a really good resource for um, seeds. If I remember, I'll put out um, in the notes. Um, but yeah, recommended. Please, please do try this one. Um, and just for the notes, uh, yeah, apparently maximum fifty thousand SHU. So again, nothing so crazy. Ooh, I'm scared. I think I'm gonna be trying the uh, tincture next. All right, Ooh, let's try the let's try the tincture. Thank you very much, Pepper Ranger. Um, I am yes, I am scared, um, but. I first thought it was a shame to have this on this video because I wouldn't be able to use my knife, but I can. There's a plastic wrapping, so it's like cut, just like cutting a pepper. So um, a tincture is usually, I think, alcohol, strong alcohol based, and the alcohol can really extract all the flavors and all the capsaicin. And um, you leave it in alcohol for a strong alcohol for a while, these peppers, and so it can absorb all the capsaicin and then you filter it out. That's my basic understanding of tinctures. And I think uh, Pepper Ranger made this with um, not just one, but a whole bunch of super hots. Um, correct me if I'm wrong here, of course, but that's what I uh, remember. Um, and I'll link to another video of um, some other people trying this, um, some chili pepper forum friends. So <laughs> I'll put that uh, in the description. So yeah, I guess I should stop talking and, and try it. I think they did five drops um, and they have a much higher tolerance than me. So I'm going to start with three drops just because, yeah, honestly, at the moment, you can you see what I tried. I tried a rocotto and a, and a mild packaton today. I, last year I tried a tiny piece of a, of a reaper and that was, that was a lot for me. I'm going to be really careful to get this on my fingers. It smells sweet. And dangerous. God damn it. Okay, I've got a little plastic spoon. I think this is um, the best to, you know, get the, to taste something like flavor wise and to put the drops on. So I said three for now, yeah? One, two, three. Okay. I can't imagine that this little can affect, affect me so much, but, um, I know better from from the other videos, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be the, the chili pepper daredevil too much, and I know my limits. So I thought. So let's try. So it kind of just evaporates in your mouth, like it just disappears. It has a really distinct capsicum chinense flavor. It's like, and it builds slowly the flavor and the heat. Really slowly, like it goes the further goes in different areas in your mouth. It's like a yeah, like a really concentrated capsicum chinense flavor. Like obviously that is what it is. Whew. Sweeter than I thought. It's different than eating a hot pepper because you know, with the hot pepper you have that chewing experience of course and then the swallowing. This is just such a tiny bit of liquid with such a big effect. I have so much saliva building in my mouth I can't talk properly. Whew. I want to take a sip of something but I want to also experience this a little bit more like this. <laughs>
it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I can only recommend it. It doesn't even hurt. Getting a bit teary. Oh, it comes in waves. And it's slowly going down here as well. <coughs> I was told it doesn't really... Uh, I can't talk. I was told it doesn't really have the capsicum cramps accompanying this experience. Like when you eat hot peppers and the worst part is really when the stomach hurts. Of course, I have a third part as well afterwards when you get when you when they leave your body. But I hate the capsicum cramps the most, I think, from the experience. I don't want to have like a bellyache overnight and lay there and cramp. So my phone's just running super hot after the match, after the stream. Oh, I think there's some other people. Ronda and the team, uh, Tessin, Tessin, Spitar, Shuren, Spit. Whoa, that's really interesting experience. It's so different to a pepper. I think it does also kind of slowly, it's not a piece of pepper, but it does slowly travel down your throat and kind of lines your inside. Okay. I think, huh. Let's see if that. Yeah, that doesn't change too much. But um, this video is getting too long, so I'm just gonna stop it here. Thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, looking forward to making some new updates. I've got a ton of like about 70 varieties of peppers growing. So there's going to be more use of this and I'll try to try new peppers. Thanks so much.